Hey everyone, in this lesson I'm going to show you how easy it is to transform your landscape images using On One Effects 2025. Inside of On One Effects 2025, it's incredibly easy to bring your landscapes to life regardless of the scene that you're editing or modifying. With this landscape here, it's looking a little bit flat. So let's go in and the first filter we're going to add here is just our curves filter. And within our curves, one of my favorite things to do is add in an S curve to boost the contrast. I'm going to grab a point on my shadow tones, pull that down a little bit, and then I'll grab a point near my mid-tone highlights, and I'll boost that up a little bit. If we turn this off and on, it does a great job of just making the scene pop and stand out. From there, let's add a filter, and I'm going to add in the Edit Color Filter. This filter is brand new to version 2025, and it allows you to target specific colors in your image and enhance their saturation, boost their luminosity, and modify the hue incredibly easy. So let's go in and we'll add edit color. And what I typically like to do, especially if I'm dealing with a specific color in my image, such as grass or maybe mid-tones on skin, is I'll just use one of these preset styles in here. So I'll just use grass here. It's gonna target those grassy areas within our image. And I'm gonna go in and just boost the saturation more. And I'll also brighten those areas of color a bit as well. So if we turn this off and on here, it's doing a really good job of just adjusting those specific color tones within our photo. From there, let's add in a nice, soft, dreamy feel with the glow filter. And one of my favorite preset styles in the glow filter is this darker preset style. And I really love what it does to the areas that are actually getting hit with the sunlight within the image. You can see it's doing a really great job of just giving them the soft, hazy feel. Now I don't want this applied to the entirety of the image, so what I can do is I can just brush this away from the areas that I don't want it to be applied to. So I'll just grab my masking brush, and I'm just gonna brush this away from some of these darker areas within the trees here, so that we don't muddy them up and make them hard to see. But I think that looks pretty good. We'll just leave that as is. Let's turn this off and on. And the great thing about any of these filters inside of On One Effects is if they're too strong, you can always lower the opacity to fit the image that you're adjusting. So maybe we'll lower it down to about 60 or so. But you can see it's still doing a great job of just bringing in this soft, dreamy look, especially into the areas that are getting hit with that sunlight from the background. After that, Let's get a bit creative with our filters and let's add in a sun flare. That's going to emulate a little bit more light back there in that backdrop and really enhance the background and make it a little bit more interesting. So let's add a filter and we'll add sun flare. I'm going to add in a little bit more to the amount. I usually like to bring it up to 100 so I can really see what it's doing to my image. Then I'm going to lower the brightness a little bit and boost the saturation to bring in a little bit more color. Now I really enjoy what it's doing to just bring in a little bit more interest into that backdrop there, but with any filter inside of On One Effects, you can always mask it away from areas that you need to protect. So I don't really like this little overlay that it's adding into my foreground, so I'm just gonna brush that away, and I'll just brush a little bit more away just to ensure that we have a nice natural looking middle section and foreground. So let's turn this off and on, and I'm enjoying it. I think it's just bringing in a lot of interest into that background section. And if it's a little bit too strong, we can always lower down the opacity and make it more natural. From there, let's add in one last adjustment here. I'm gonna use a local adjustment to bring in a little bit of light into that middle section of my image. just like that, and then we'll lower the opacity to make it natural. Just to make it stand out amongst those other areas within our scene. So let's check out the before and the after, and I'm really enjoying it. Let's just take a look at a side-by-side -side comparison here. 
So with just a few filters and a local adjustment, we've really brought this landscape image to life. That's how easy it is inside of On1Effects 2025. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next lesson.